hello and welcome to a brand new tutorial uh, today we are gonna discuss something uh, different uh, today we're gonna try to use a J frame and a J panel and we will try to run an audio like an audio player so let's get started so first I need to open a Java project I will name this tutorials. Tutorials. I will be doing all my tut Java tutorials under this project. I will click on finish. It will create a tutorial section. Tutorial projects for me. I don't need this. I will cross these out. And now I will needing a package I like to work under these packages I will be naming this uh, tutorial 01 now let's design a class I'll be naming it media player to begin our coding and again as I mentioned earlier I'll be using some panels I'll be using one panel and one frame so it's gonna extend a J panel and I'm not gonna use any key events I'm only gonna use buttons so I have to implement the action listener which actually listens to the which actually listens to the buttons what we when we press on these action happens so we again need to import action listener we have to import J panel and then we have to implement the methods that are by default with action listener so I'm gonna add these unimplemented methods and this is the one method action perform we will be defining our button methods under this uh, method button codes under this method so first I'll be needing a J frame I will name that window close to new J frame uh, I want some text on it so I will just write a simple interface because it is going to be a pretty simple interface I have to import the J frame and now I will need a constructor I will be going very slowly because when I used to watch tutorials uh, I really at times you know could not follow because the uh, guys who used to do the tutorials go really fast so I am going to explain everything pretty slowly so first I'm going to need a constructor. The constructor needs to be exactly as it is the as like the class name. As you can see it's media player, it's media player. Whatever happens inside this uh, will be uh, will start running as soon as the program runs. So I will be doing most of my work in here. So first I'm going to define the Win the J frame. Uh, so first, uh, I need to add this panel to this window. So I'm gonna write window dot add, and I'm gonna use the Java keyword this for the, for this purpose. What this means is I'm adding this panel to the window. Now I'm gonna define the frame window dot set size. I want a relatively small window, 40 width to 200 uh, height. I want its location, set location to uh, 100 and 100, which probably gonna be 100 pixels from here and 100 pixels from here. So it should appear around about here. So then I will need to add the set 
default close operation and it's gonna be jframe dot exit on close what this line does for me is when I press the you know this cross button it closes the operation uh, from the background as well and now I will have to set the window visible using the set visible method true okay and I want to see the color black I want to paint it black so I wanna have to use this dot set background and it will set our background color color dot black so it's a pretty much I have defined a frame now I'll need a main class I will name it main of player and I'll add the public static void main method so I'll have to click on this and it's public static void main is generated for me so I'll have to initialize this media player class in this main inside the main method so I am gonna just media player mp equals to new media player and I'll try to run this and you see it appears right around here so I, I wanted this sort of an interface and now I'm gonna design the buttons which I'm gonna need so I'll be needing uh, uh, you know I want a label here just here just to say that it's a media player so I'm gonna add a J label it's gonna say info goes to new J label and it's gonna say a simple media player now most of you guys if you have a java background you should know that java cannot play mp3 by default it plays wav wave format so i'm gonna be playing wave format in this tutorial in the next tutorial i will be uh, uh showing you guys what things we need to make a mp3 player but that's for the next tutorial in this tutorial i'm gonna just play a wave uh wave format so I want to add this label info label the window window dot add and add win info. Now I want to add the window to the uh, page end border layout dot page end. If you use comma that means the second parameter as border layout the page end it will add the window it will add the uh, label right at the end of the window like this I want a custom font for this so I'm gonna use a info dot set font and now the syntax for it is you you write a new keyword new font then double parenthesis first parameter is a string which you don't need to write anything if you want you can write if you want the information second is the font one I'm gonna use font dot italic I want its size to be 20 maybe let's see let's run and I want this location to a, uh, a bit to my right so I made it 200 no, it's too big okay let's keep this in this way now I'm gonna be needing uh, three buttons J 